Number 93. Convert the boiling temperature of gold, 2,966 degrees Celsius, into degrees Fahrenheit and Kelvin. Okay, so looks like we just are doing temperature conversions now. Finally, we've reached temperature conversions. We're almost done with this chapter, guys. So it looks like we have to turn this degree Celsius into a just a Fahrenheit temperature, degree Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. Okay, so usually just know that the process is Fahrenheit will always be on the left-hand side, and you could always go back and forth from Fahrenheit to Kelvin, sorry, from Fahrenheit to Celsius, and then you can go back and forth to Kelvin. So basically Celsius is the leading unit, the degree, to go from Fahrenheit and back and forth to Kelvin. So... We're going to just have to use two equations. So let's do the first one. So let's say that I want to go from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And I want to solve for Fahrenheit. So here are the three equations that you guys should know. You might need to memorize them, um, depending on if your teacher or professor, you know, isn't going to provide it to you. But if you're searching for, whoop, if you're searching for Fahrenheit, you would want to pick the one that says Fahrenheit equals. So it would be this one. Right, And this one is the only one that can go from Fahrenheit back and forth to Celsius. So we're going to use this formula, the first one, to get that conversion. So here, if I just write this down, I'm going to say Fahrenheit equals 9 over 5 times Celsius plus 32. And if you've noticed, you have to do the multiplication first, so I'll say number one first, and then you add the 32, because remember with parentheses, PEMDAS. Now, if you just want to memorize that 9 divided by 5 is 1.8, that's fine as well, but it, it doesn't really matter. So let's plug it in. So I'm going to say Fahrenheit equals 9 over 5 times, they told me the temperature was 2, 966, 2,966 degrees Celsius, plus 32. So, I'll do this in two steps for you guys. 9 divided by 5 times 2,966 is 5,338.8. So we'll say 5338.8 plus 32. Now... You just got to add the, the 32. So Fahrenheit equals, and this should be an equal sign, so Fahrenheit equals that answer plus 32, and now we just have to get the correct number of sig figs. Now, this is 5,370.8 degrees, but we now just have to get the correct number of sig figs. So since this was 2,966 degrees Celsius, and you're adding or if you're, you're multiplying here, right, you should have the same number that you started off with. So here, there is four sig figs. So when you did this step, you should have gotten to four sig figs. So technically, when we do this, we're going to just round to four sig figs. So the five, three, seven, and zero count. The eight, however, will round the zero into a one. So my Fahrenheit is 5,371 degrees. So this would be Fahrenheit. Box that answer off. That's the Fahrenheit number. So 5,371 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we just have to convert to Kelvin. So now we're going to do Celsius to Kelvin. And now we're at this stage of the game, right? Celsius to Kelvin. So which formula are we going to use? Oh, this one, because we want to solve for Kelvin and we have Celsius. And this is just straight up addition. So remember your sig fig rules for addition. It's the least after the decimal. It's not the least total. So I'm going to say Kelvin equals the 2,966 plus 27, uh, 273 0.15 
So your Kelvin equals whatever that is, and then we just have to give the correct sig figs. 2,966 plus 273.15, you get 3,239.15. However, this is a standard number, so this does not count for sig figs. So in your Celsius number, there was nothing after the decimal, right? There was no decimal here and then numbers. So there should be nothing after the decimal. So basically you cut your answer off here. But the next one is a rounding, but it's a one, which will just tell the nine to stay exactly the same. So your Kelvin would equal 3,239 degrees. So that would be your Kelvin number. 3,239 degrees Kelvin. Box those two answers off. That is the equivalent of 2,966 degrees Kelvin. So what this, come down, this came down to was just seeing how you can convert your different temperature units. So get to know these formulas, and that will make it so much easier for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope this helped. If it did, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to know when more answers are coming out. It will greatly help you out because you'll have the resources to do well in your exam. I will see you guys all in number 94. See you in a little bit.